Uh, thank you so much for joining. I can see that you're on the beach. That's great. <laughs> me, my pleasure is to be here. <laughs> okay, you're calling from you're calling from Brazil right now, aren't you? No, no, my background is in Brazil, Copacabana <laughs> city, but uh, I live in Montreal now. Oh, and, that's uh, a big change, man. You're probably missing the sun. Oh man. Yes, <laughs> I've been I've been in Copacabana. Copacabana is great. Like I I've been there already. Uh, yeah, I visit Brazil like ten years ago uh, for for a project, and it was great. I was in São Paulo. I was in Rio de Janeiro as well. It's a wonderful country, and of course, you know, I'm Portuguese, so it was really easy to to talk <laughs> and to uh, talk with everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for joining. Muito obrigado uh, for for joining. Um, and it was so quick; like you responded to me right away. I am so I'm so so grateful yeah, yeah, that my you. My first day is inside the Discord channel, <laughs> and you're already on my my live stream. That's good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so so uh, uh, I I'm I'm not sure. Is it Rodrigo or Bel Rodrigo? What's your first name? My my first name is Bel. Okay. Second name Rodrigo. It's two okay, names. Cool. Is 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 nice because in Canada has one big company called Bell, oh, and cool. <laughs> they use they use my name for every every part in Canada. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, but thank you so much. And also, I would like to thank Jonas. Uh, Jonas uh, was very kind to like swap with you for the slots, and which is nice. And thank you so much for that, Jonas. He's watching as well. He's going to be next. Um, so, <laughs> Bell, why don't you tell everyone here? Your name, where you're from, you know what you do, what you've been up to, and yeah, so people know a little bit about yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Brazil, and in Brazil, I work in more architectural project, interior design. I was architect, and I was teacher as well in the university, doing courses for like a gravity, three D max, something like that. And when I moved to Canada in 2020, when the beginning of the COVID start, I was here. Every every board was closed, and I I not allowed to go out to Canada, and I spent some time here just to learn English, French, and in meantime, one company asked me to apply my my visa to stay here, and the first company was called uh, Pizza Mondo, so I think I think it's a famous company here, and uh, after that I worked in. In virtual production there using a real engine for virtual production like a star trek and after that i moved to montreal to work in mpc company and i work working like a house of Dragon, that tv show and after that Geneg. and now i'm working like a freelance for some companies uh in doing some courses as well and i started your course and i hope you learn a lot with you <laughs> uh, well first of all that's that's an amazing career you have there like congratulations that's a really good career you're very experienced and you've been around quite a while uh like a, no a normal a normal visual effects nomad <laughs> going around everywhere yeah, yeah. My, my plan <laughs> was to work in around uh, like a digital nomad traveling around the road but because of the covid i i spent more time like a three years here so yeah. but I, I i like it canada but it's too cold for me <laughs> <laughs> i bet i bet that was the exact yeah. same reason why i left sweden so i worked i lived and worked in sweden for three years i really enjoyed it it was great the studio was good and it was a lovely country to live with yeah. but man pff, the winters oh my god i could not yeah. take it i had we we left <laughs> everybody <laughs> said ah, i love it cold i love it cold but uh, it's cold is nice or when you are inside your home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But when you go outside like a minus twenty, minus forty is crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My God. When I when I used to go to work in Sweden in, in Uppsala, I would go in during the winter, I would go and get the bus to go to work and just the the short walk from my house to the bus station, I would develop like little ice parts on my eyes and, and I would my oh, yeah. and my my scarf would be frozen from the vapor yeah. of my mouth. It was horrible. I hated it. <laughs> it yeah, was yeah. just horrible. Anyway, like um uh, I'm gonna um I'm gonna well First of all, thank you so much for for joining my course. Uh, much appreciated that you joined my course. I hope yeah, you enjoy pleasure. it, and yeah. and I I hope you you have a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm going to put your showreel going so that people can see it. Um, yeah. now I must say that I I I hope you don't mind, but I I did 
fix the aspect ratio on your showreel. <laughs> I oh, couldn't. Really? <laughs> yeah. So because it was so so squashed that I I kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah. Uh, unsquashed it on DaVinci. So yeah, um, so I, I just received this small videos and I tried to the stretch to make them better, but uh, I did a, a wrong mistake. Yeah, it's not a problem. Like I I fixed that uh, obviously. Um, it's not completely fixed, but it's better than it was. It's less scratched, yeah. scra uh, stretched. Well. Now, one thing I must say, and I must tell to everyone on the audience, it's a bit low quality, so apologies for that. It's, but I think most people know these shots. They don't need to like, they don't need yeah. like, they know what shots they are. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your showreel? Because you have a lot of things on your showreel. You have, uh, you have, uh, is this uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon? Dragon. It's House of the Dragon, right? Yeah, uh, House, House, House of the Dragon. Yeah. So yeah, you have I a lot know. of things on your showreel. Like, why don't you tell people a little bit about you? You can see that you have some House of the Dragon, which, by the way, I love the show. It was amazing work. Congratulations. It's an amazing show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then you have some, some, you have some examples here, don't you, where we see in real. So what's this all about? Yeah, because uh, uh, I I work in Brazil using a real engine for architecture, and I arrived here. I put some projects in Facebook, and people saw my project and start to ask me to produce environments for films and TV shows, and uh, something like that. I have like a big LED, and they use like a, for backgrounds and put someone on the front, like a Paris, like that, that that's a street Paris. So that's my work. I I modeling something, but I use a mega scan. I using some some uh, assets from the company because they, when they work in like a big company like MPC, Genag, we don't do everything. Like in Brazil, we, we need to be generalist. Yeah, and yeah. here the industry is more mature, so they have like a specific more specialistic parts like a lighting, modeling, shading. They divide everything in parts. So now I'm doing more like a 3D environment in lighting. For example, this one here, we we put one singer, the rest is LED, and I create the background for that company. That's very cool. It's really cool. Really cool work. Yeah. You have some really good work here. You're very talented. And congratulations. You have some amazing work. I mean, did I wish the show rule was a bit sharper? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's a bit blurry and it's a bit stretched, but I, I think I think that's something you can fix easily, I'm sure. Um, and so, going back to this to this here, um, what's this? Um, what is this all about? Like, um, uh, you have this um, lighting after this layout, this little uh, little uh, creature going around. What's this? What's this project all about? What is this? Yeah, yeah this one because I. <laughs> My my sister has a one um, child, and I created this one for them because my my father creates some chickens. They have <laughs> a, like a small farm, and I use my environment to create this one. And a friend of mine, they have a they did a animation from the chicken, and I create some joke about the chickens. Let the chickens matter. That's why I they create the, this name for them. That's really cool. Is this Unreal as well? Yeah, yeah, it's Unreal, yeah. It's, I, I think it's Unreal 427, and I created using ray tracing for that. Is that before the Lumen? Uh, before Lumen, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, very nice. And what's this last project that you have on your showreel here with the lady going to the yeah. bed? Like, what is that? This one is uh, from Paris Saint-Germain. For me, it's amazing because I'm from Brazil. I love soccer. <laughs> and they... If you if you saw on the end of the show, they have a Neymar. A oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. And, and, Mape. Mape and I created the, I created the stadium, but they put, put this boring smoking before my stadium. But it's still there, my work. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Like that happens a lot. Like we do something really amazing, and then it's all covered by something else. Yeah, yeah. Why you spend a lot of time? In I know, and even details. even the even the players, you don't hardly see them. Even Neymar is just at the back there. It's a bit weird that he's like <laughs> just one of the world world's best players in the world. Is like okay, he's like just photo bombing at the end. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um. Oh man, I can see. Yeah, I can see you're you're a soccer fan. You have uh, the the shirt and everything ring going yeah, right yeah. now, representing <laughs> Brazil. That's good. Um, 
<laughs> so um yeah why don't why don't you tell us well i'm getting a warning oh my god youtube is so bad sometimes i'm getting a warning here on my page here saying that uh, a copyright has been detected on my video yeah, yeah, uh, it's yeah. because of house of dragons i'm sure so yeah, i'm yeah, gonna yeah. just pause i'm gonna i'm gonna just like do it as a still instead so tell us a little bit about what happened here with house of dragons what did you do, do on it yeah i use it like a katana for lighting because in NPC, we were working more Katana in Maya to create the modeling and like layout. And, and we do we using some Nokia as well, but I don't work for Nokia for that. Using Katana for lighting. And that's how I work in this, pro, this project. I, do, I just the small city, I create the layout. And they have like a big library there, and I need to spread the house. And I did the lighting for Dragon and the city as well. Cool, man. Well, it's excellent work. Uh, really good. Is this is this with Pixamondo? This one is the NPC. NPC, yeah. okay, NPC. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. It's very Pixamondo, nice. Pixamondo, I work in more virtual production. More virtual production, it's, okay. Yeah, it's nice because uh, before to work in VFX companies, I was imagining everything was fun, was his fancy, but it's, <laughs> everything is black. Yeah. <laughs> Your, your studio is better than one's biggest studio, like an NPC, Pizza Mundo, like Dinami. But that is amazing because it's a big company. We have the opportunity to work in our big shows. Yeah. But uh, if, if you have an opportunity to work in like a from home, it's better than inside the office. But uh, for sure, you don't have an opportunity to, to share face to face. It's better inside the studio. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um hope you don't mind me asking this, because this was something that came up on the last review that I was doing just before you um, with Alex, because mm -hmm. Alex was struggling with visas and everything. How did that work for you? Do you mind d talking yeah, a little bit about that? Do you mind? If yeah, you don't mind, it's not a problem. But Yeah, I have a, a good luck in my life because I, I love my work. I never do that for to pick up the visa. I just put my project on the internet, LinkedIn, Facebook, every every part. All all time they ask me to do interviews. And I, I now my my work is like an interview job. My that's I do every week. Because uh LinkedIn is crazy when you create like a social media like a LinkedIn, they have a big recru recruiters there. Yeah. There's a big opportunity there. So yeah. if you don't if yeah. you just like a Facebook or Instagram, you are a lot of opportunity. Yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah, I keep saying that to my. You, you, can you believe that I still have students sometimes that don't have LinkedIn? They're like, oh, yeah. do I need one? Like, in, oh my God, come on! <laughs> yes, you need one. No, people yeah. don't. They really underestimate the power of LinkedIn. It's a great network a tool and. There's a lot of people like there's a lot of work. I've I've done a lot of work from LinkedIn. I've mm -hmm. had a lot of work. Um, yeah. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off your reel because I'm getting uh, claimed all the time in in um, on no YouTube problem. If you if you prefer using like a like a art station, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's For right. Me. That's right. You yeah, send yeah. me the art station. I'm gonna do that because uh, YouTube yeah, is yeah. just so so. The better, so... The better quality is there. Yeah, it's... I'm gonna do that. The more see. real. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a very good show reel. It's just that yeah, uh, yeah, the, the, you know. the show is, is good, but the quality is bad. Yeah, well, you know, I don't <laughs> think you need a better quality show reel with, with the quality of work that you have here. So, um, yeah, okay, cool. I'll, I'll so, the, so I think people, I'm going to share my screen as well, so that you, that you yeah. can see what I'm showing as well. Uh, give me just a second. Oh my God! So many windows open. Uh, how how is... long you you did to to create your studio like that? A lot of books, a lot of stuff in your. Oh yeah, well it took years. <laughs> it was years <laughs> and years to do my studio for sure. Uh, yeah, no, I I was showing it before like on my my studio, but I this is this is just a little bit bit of it. I have more on that side, and I have another room and everything, but but I can't can't show it all on camera. Um, but yeah, it took years, man. But I've, I've been working mm -hmm. remotely for like, I don't know, like eight years now. So even before COVID, I was already working remotely. Um, so ever since I left the mill, ever since I left the, the mill, I've been working remotely. 
um so so like with country with 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 companies but i still live in london i still located in london so but yeah people now can see your art station page here i'm going to share it on the chat as well if people want to see it themselves okay. uh, and maybe follow and and uh, help out rodrigo here um so so bell Tell me, tell me a little bit about this. Like you have a lot of work here. <laughs> like, yeah, like uh, anything that you want, you want to show and want uh, people to show, or anything that you comes to mind. Yeah, the, I, I have a big problem with my eyes because I'm working a lot in front of computer because <laughs> this, this kind of things. Because I, I work like eight hours for one company, and the rest of my time I spend more time in my personal projects. <laughs> That's so, good. <laughs> <laughs> you have so yes. much work here. It's insane. You have so much work. Damn. I, I imagine they recruit it when they start to look at my my portfolio. They they don't have time to see everything. Just in the first line. Yeah. I well, I mean, once you get to this kind of level, also you don't really need to like like have a proper showreel. So what? Let, let's just do some random things here. So what's this all about? Like this is you're trying cinematography compositing for cinema. Is this like your test that you're making or something? Yeah, yeah. Because in my when I have a opportunity to spend time, I I try to teach some some people like a professionals or students, not like you, for, but not to famous like you. But uh, I try to 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 do some guidelines for new professionals, new students. And because uh, I always, is my dream. This, this one is my dream. I work in, in my, my dream. Dream work. So that's why I, I create something like that to to show how to work is inside one company, inside one studio. Because most people uh, ask me to pay like uh, thousands to show something like that. So I, I try to do it for free. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, because some people like uh, from some cultures, it's complicated to pay one course to understand the process, the pipeline from the studios. Sometimes it's complicated to work in, inside one studio. That's why I try to share my knowledge for some students. I'm so glad to hear that. That is that is something I try to do as much as I can as well. That's why mm -hmm. I open. That's why I've opened the the YouTube channel, because yeah. my YouTube channel seven years ago. Because I I I always thought that seniors and people that work in the industry have the responsibility to teach the next generation and i'm i'm so happy that you're doing that as well um i'm really happy you're not only talented but you're actually also te teaching people and also sharing a lot of things because like you said it is difficult to find uh free um also let's not forget that youtube is full of bullshit and bad tutorials as well so i'm really glad that you're kind of like trying to put out some some professional stuff that's really cool man congratulations on that yeah, do you, you do you do that mostly or here on art station or do you have a youtube channel as well no yeah i have a youtube channel as well okay let's let's uh let's go to it where where is it yeah. where can i find it it's uh yeah, let's write to maybe inside the chat for you uh, on the chat of Zoom or the chat of uh, the chat, the chat, like from, from YouTube, where are you going to write? Yeah, yeah, chat on Zoom, that's me. Okay, I cool. Pick up yeah, my... Then I can see if I can get you some, um, if I can get you some new uh, subscribers. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, send over. A lot of people oh. really like your work, so people are really enjoying oh, it. Oh, maybe new haters. <laughs> new hate? No, it won't be like that. <laughs> it won't be like that. Okay, cool. Thanks so much. Okay, uh, here it is. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm opening it now. Uh, okay, cool. Unreal uh, Unreal Engine for virtual production. Cool. 4,000 subscribers. That's pretty good, man. So you have a new yeah. subscriber now. I'm going to subscribe to your okay. channel. So oh, I have a famous subscribe. <laughs> So let's just, uh, okay, so it's Bell. Okay, I'm going to just like, it's a bit easier to just do this. Uh, I'm going to just like do this live here. So fortunately, YouTube now has proper uh, hashtags. And, and so I'm going to just, so yeah, everyone, go and check out Bell's work on YouTube. Apparently has a lot of uh, YouTube uh, tutorials here. So um, I'm, I'm subscribing already. So it says tutorials and projects using Unreal. And yeah, that's cool, man. 4,000 subscribers is no easy feat. Congratulations, man. That's really cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, so what's more popular here? Okay, cool. You have some Luminan versus Unreal. You have some Unreal for architecture. You have latest stuff you've posted. Do you often post here or do you only post sometimes? 
How's it, how's it yeah, going? Yeah, it runs like uh, three weeks, one month. I don't put like all weeks. I put more link engine, link engine, I put more there, like uh, tips and trips. Cool, man. That, yeah. There's a lot of really mm -hmm. cool stuff here. Really a lot yeah. of cool stuff. You have it's some look development nice. tutorials. You have like some engine stuff. You have lighting in Ren Unreal. I'm guessing is Unreal your main thing now these days, or do you also use other stuff uh, a lot? Yeah, for now I, I use more Unreal. Before I was in like a very uh, Corona, and but now I really love Unreal because all the time they have uh, like up to date new features to work for. So yeah. This That's is really cool. I, I'm, I clicked on the Studio Ghibli thing that you have here. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. I, I love this film. Really love this film. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, That's really cool that you've actually. How did well, how did you achieve this? Like, did you model that character, or did you get it, or or how did that happen? Yeah, no, the character is not my my main my main skill. I do more like uh, environment, but the characters uh, I don't have the, like uh, just have a from a. Uh, Kitchy Bash or something like that. And are you talking? I I didn't put the sound. Are you talking on these tutorials as well? Let me just hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I I push some sounds, but just one, just to, like a music. Cool. Yeah. Very nice, man. Very nice. Congratulations. Yeah. I hope people can go in. I'm gonna definitely gonna check out. I'm learning in real as it as it goes as well right now. I think everyone in the world is learning in real. <laughs> so uh that's really cool, man. Congratulations on 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 this. Uh cool, man. Yeah. Well I, I yesterday I was watching one video from you. You you said it's like uh not like because now Oh, Blender is like our religion. People talk about your Blender. You know about the Blender. Everybody wants to share Blender. <laughs> yeah, it's nice when you talk. No, we don't need to work like adjust for our software. You need to learn how this is working. And doesn't matter if you're real. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's that good. Yeah, because I keep saying, people, yeah, I see that a lot. I say that a lot on my videos and I say that a lot on my tutorials as well. It's all about mm -hmm. the core skills. Like, you know, I've, I've, I've switched software so many times I forgot. Like it's it's been yeah. so many times that I've switched softwares and I'm going to continue switching softwares. The most important thing is really for you to learn to learn composition, lighting, you know, photography, like the real stuff, the stuff that will carry on. Clicking the buttons is the easy part. Um, you yeah, know, like yeah. that that's the easy part. I'm so glad that you are saying the same thing as well. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I know normally we do a showreel review. I don't really have anything to review on your showreel. Your showreel is great. Like, I, I your work is out, outstanding, and I have nothing to say about it. Like, yeah, congratulations. Just, just one question, because I, uh, some, sometimes uh, I, I have some uh, asking me to myself, uh, because in my show has like a more than 100 projects there, and some people, why well, maybe you need, you need to delete some part of that. So, but they, I, I prefer to to maintain everything there because I I can show my progress. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. But, I, uh, well, a lot of people ask me that about the art station thing, and what I would say to you, uh, Bell, is that most recruiters and most supervisors, I tell, I say this from experience when I was a supervisor at the mill, and then also supervisor for that smoke, and also at. Uh, many other companies like I we don't look at our station links when we get the art station link we don't even open it unless mm -hmm. we're digging in and looking deeper into that artist the only mm -hmm. thing that matters is the show reel the show reel is the only thing we're going to watch it's like a minute and a half to two minutes we'll watch the show reel we'll know what it is and then from the cv then we'll go deeper if we want to learn more I don't think you should worry too much about your uh, uh, art station if you were starting out if you were new if you're a junior, yes, of course, your art station, mm -hmm. if anyone junior is listening, you should organize it. You should have it clean. You should have less projects because you don't want to overwhelm anyone that is going to watch the link. But because you already are an artist working in the industry, you already worked on HBO shows, you already worked at MPC, you already worked on a lot of big, at Pixamondo, you already worked on a lot of big studios, you don't necessarily need to worry about that anymore, I think. I would just advise you to have a better showreel. I think your showreel needs to be a bit higher quality. Maybe try to find better clips uh, for it from higher sources for yeah. the shows you've done. Um, and I think you 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 should you should just at least think about that and maybe consider having a showreel just with shots. I, I'm not so keen, and I think most VFX supervisors don't really enjoy having a showreel where they see the software or they see the the interface of the software. 
I think it's much nicer for you to just have shots, you know, and just show the shots that you've done and just show the work. Um, like I said, people can always go deeper into your channel and then check other things that you've done. So I think for your for your career, the position where you are right now, I don't think you need to worry about art station at all. Like it's all about you sending your CV. Your CV will talk for itself. I, I tell this to all the time. Like ever since I've ever since I've started uh, working on a big studio. Um, this was already like in 2010. That was the first time I worked on a big studio. I've never done a show reels ever since. You know, like I haven't done a show reel since I started on a big studio, because ever since mm -hmm. I've ever since I set foot inside the mill and became a senior compositor there, you then have that on the CV, and then you just go to other companies and other companies. You just jump around from company to company. First of all, I never had the time to do a show reel, but also like once you go to that threshold of working on a really big company. You don't really need a show reel anymore, uh, unless if you stop working for ten years or something. You know, like if you if you pause and maybe not work for ten years and then come back, then of course you need a show reel. But but yeah. I think you are on a level already that you can't, you don't really necessarily need one anymore. You know, I, I think because I'm sure now you already have your contacts, you already have your companies that yeah. you work for. So that's something yeah, yeah. that people sometimes don't don't get. You know, it's it's all about the contacts and. I still work with the same people I've worked ever since I was there, you know, at the mill. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's always the same people. It's a very small industry. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Yeah, that's why you was talk about the LinkedIn, because the LinkedIn is a good network to to see opportunities there. I, I, I saw the guy before. I don't know if he are, they are using... LinkedIn, but uh, I really recommend for them. Yeah, I forgot to ask Alex. I'm sure Alex is using LinkedIn, but I... I I think people need to. I, it's a really good advice that you're giving everyone, Bell. LinkedIn mm -hmm. needs to be used every, like almost every day. You need to use it as a, yeah. just like a social media uh, uh, website. You know, you need to use it as much as you would have used Twitter or TikTok or YouTube or Instagram. Keep posting, keep reposting, keep linking, keep liking, keep keep making comments, because you never know who you're going to be commenting to if they're going to check your work or uh, you never know if you leave a comment somewhere maybe someone will read it and then give you a job because of that like it, it's really important to grow your your uh, your contact list on linkedin for sure i've been doing that every day and i uh, people know this i accept anyone that contacts me on linkedin anyone like the more the merrier the whole point of this is to have as many people watching what you do as as as, as best you know and I think I think LinkedIn is really where it is for us, you know. I, I like Twitter as well, but Twitter is more for fun, <laughs> really, yeah, than the, anything the, else. The, the big problem is because when I we do like a course in university, they don't teach us how to sell because we need to sell ourselves. Yeah. yeah absolutely. For the industry. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why you, you said about you need to post all the time, you need to add people and not like an ad, but trying to talk, oh welcome. Yeah. Trying to talk something, share some knowledge with him that with them, no like and just buy and just just sell, but try to share. Yeah, good as well. absolutely. Yeah. I, I yeah. got into the habit, you know, I wasn't big on social media like 10 years ago, and now I am. I got into mm -hmm. the habit of just making it part of my schedule, you know, every day I open up these uh, these sites and I post something, I like something, I read something, you read some articles, link, connect something, check my, my messages because there's always people asking me things on the messages. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. Sometimes I have too many messages there. But it's so important for you to, to – because it's – I, I would say that it's as important as the work itself, like, you know, to brand yourself, to sell yourself in social media and on networks is as important as the actual work on the showreel itself, um, because this is a social industry. You know, it's it's all about you showcasing your work and being in the correct place at the correct time. And like I told, like I told Alex, you need a bit of luck as well. Sometimes you need luck. You know, there's no, yeah. there's no way around it. Like some, I, I feel like I was very fortunate to be at the correct time, at the correct place to be hired on a certain company. You know, I was lucky. Like there is always a, a, a bit of luck on the whole thing. You know. Yeah, well, I, I have a, the last question. I don't know uh, because we need, we need to finish. But uh, one question, one question, you one million for you. How you manage? 
all this class, all these students, we have, we have more than 1,000 students in our course. <laughs> and we have a link, you have a LinkedIn, you have your Instagram, you have a, just live in YouTube, and you still have hair, and you're still, <laughs> you're still young. How do you do that? No, I... I... <laughs> I struggle, I'll tell you that, Bella. I do struggle. It's difficult. I have 1,500 students, yes, but I, I would say that perhaps from the 1,500 students I have on my course, maybe 100 or 200 of them are actually vocal. You know, I don't think everyone talks. Not everyone says anything. Not everyone is always there. But yes, my, my, my Instagram is, my, my LinkedIn is, sorry, my, my Discord is very active. The course uh, in uh, Discord. I mean, even right now, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, there's 222 people online right now uh, on the Discord. So we have about 1,500 uh, students there. But I think at any given time, we have 200, 300, 400 people logged in, you know, watch like on Discord yeah. talking. And it is a struggle sometimes. I, I am definitely overwhelmed sometimes by questions, overwhelmed by by things. Sometimes I don't feel like doing anything. And I, I'll tell you one thing, Bell, for, for honestly, I feel really bad that I don't do more. I really feel bad because I always, yeah. always letting down people. You know, I don't do enough streams. I don't do enough classes. I don't do enough videos. I'm always feeling that I'm letting down people at some point. And but I'm how you do that. You do that because you're just one guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I, yeah, you're right. Like 24 hours is the only time you have on the, and you need to sleep as well. And I think it definitely, definitely it helped that I've worked from home, you know, like ever since I've been home um, and I have my own studio here, it's much easier. It is because I don't lose time on commute and I don't lose time going to the office and I, I, I work out re and reality bell is that I work out any time. Really. I work at night. Sometimes I work at morning. Sometimes I sometimes take a day off. Sometimes I work five days in a row. Like it, it's very inconsistent, but I like it that way. And I, I've always had this issue of timing. I, the thing that I most hated in my life was every time I had to go to the mill when I was VFX soup there, I had to go to the mill and I had to be there at nine o'clock in the morning. That was the worst part for me. You know, like I'm not a morning person. I'm I'm a person that works when I feel like it. And I, and so I've been fortunate to work for clients and companies that allow me to do that. But, but yeah, no, yeah. it's it's. I think I think it's it's definitely uh, um, um, difficult to handle everything sometimes, yeah. but you just you know you do it you do ship away every day a little bit and do as much as you can and some people will be disappointed some people won't you know some people will be happy it's fine like I I yeah <laughs> I, 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 I did do some course in Brazil it's really complicated because sometimes when they we you try to do the, your best, yeah. But sometimes you do something wrong, yeah. Of course. And they they hate to spread everything. Oh. You do something wrong. It's complicated. Oh, I imagine because people tag you. Oh, it's some, really complicated. Oh man, yeah. My, last year, like like two years ago, I had some really problems on you know personal problems going on. You know, I had a lot of personal problems. I had a lot of issues going on, and and I stopped for quite a while. I stopped for a long time. Oh mm -hmm. man, I got so burned on my course and on my people that followed me and people that that were bu that bought my course, people threatening to sue me and saying that I wasn't doing what they should do. And man, people sometimes ha have struggles and sometimes there's personal problems involved. And yeah. and I tried to get back as much as I could. And but I, I also think that that Bell. Some people you can never uh, please, you know. <laughs> there are yeah. some people that you'll never please, but um, there's not. It's not possible. But it's it's true what you say. I'm always afraid that maybe I did something wrong, and sometimes I do something wrong, and I have to go and remove the video or re-edit it or redo it. Or that happens a lot on the podcast. For example, the podcast I do with Ian, VFX Notes, we re-edit it all the time, and we re-record little parts and bits and bobs and. And sometimes there's mistakes there, but we try our best. Uh, but the, I know what you mean. People, people should chill a bit. Like I think people on social media are just way too loud, and they get so angry. Oh my god, they get yeah. so angry so quickly. And I, I don't know why. Like why, why are they so angry? Like why are you? You should be happy. You're doing something you like. Like why are you so angry? <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know it's, uh, uh, about if you have something like a uh, event. Like uh, for a student's event, you do like something like that in no online, but face to face. 
Oh, I've never done that. You mean a get together? No, I've never done that. Because the, the course, when I first did the course was 2019 when I started it. And mm -hmm. and then we right away, like, like then I when, once I finished the like the first batch of classes, we then had COVID, you know, like it, it just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, then we, we had a lot of zoom calls. We did so many mm -hmm. zoom calls. I think we did like 50 zoom calls with the students. Sometimes we had 20 people. Sometimes we had 10 people. Sometimes we had 30 people. It depended on the day, of course, but we did a lot of zoom calls, especially during, during, uh, during lockdown. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about that. Um, I do yeah, get man. together with people when I go to festivals, like for example, I'm going to next month, I'm going to be presenting at FMX and I'm I'm going to see if anyone wants to hang out or check out or, or do that but mm -hmm. but yeah so yeah, so if you, need, if you need some help let me know and I will be there to to help you to manage it oh thank you so much for saying that man thank you so much thank you so much for for saying that uh, I, I don't know if we move it for far away from your no uh, it's fine it's fine yeah. people people you know People can go away and come back and check or skip or watch it later. I don't, man. I don't. I don't care. Like, like yeah. uh, this. The entire point of these streams is to have some fun and to watch some good work and to chat and to hang out. You know, like I, I, I love the conversation we had, and I, I'm really, really very fortunate to for you to come into the show. Thank you so much for being here. You know, 